ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different today we're going to be talking about 10 vanilla plus mod combinations for minecraft 1.21 and today's video was inspired by the asian half squat so shout out to the homie Basically, what I mean when I say mod combinations is we're going to be taking two or more mods that weren't exactly designed to be used together, but when used together, enhance your Minecraft experience in a way that I think is worth using both of them. So yeah, today we have quite a lot of mods to go over, around 21 to be exact, so I don't want to waste any of your time, but I will say that if you do enjoy the content today that I ask that you do hit that subscribe button, as I would love to see you around for future content uploads. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Kicking things off, I actually have a slew of super cool nether mods for you guys. Now, the first mod that I want to talk about is actually called Amplified Nether. And at first glance, things don't really seem all that different until you decide to look up. And you'll notice that the nether just got a lot bigger. Specifically, it is 256 blocks tall now. And with the Amplified Nether mod, you actually can't build on the nether roof by itself. However, you can install the Amplified Nether Height mod that has been made to be paired with this one so that you will be able to make your roof farms and everything like that. But the Amplified Nether Height mod isn't the mod combo that I'm talking about. I just wanted to mention it for those of you guys that end up installing this one. No, the mod that I want to combine with Amplified Nether is actually a super super cool one it's called nether weather now if we go ahead and type slash weather and type rain i'm sure these guys aren't exactly gonna like it okay well the piglet isn't it looks like the zombified piglins just don't care um anyways this what we are experiencing right now is what's called a lava fall and with the nether weather mod, this actually links the overworld weather to the nether weather. So whenever it's raining in the overworld, there's actually a lava fall going on in the nether. Now in survival, if I were to go ahead and swap on over, you'll notice that I will take damage if I am in the lava fall. However, you are able to wear fire protection. And if you go back on over to survival, there we go. You'll notice that we no longer take damage. If I don't have the chest piece on, I am going to take damage. But as long as you have something protecting your head and you have at least one armor piece of fire protection, you will no longer take damage from the lava fall, which is really cool because it gives a little bit of added benefit to having fire protection on at least one piece of your gear whenever you do come to the nether. So probably put it on like a golden helmet or something. But this isn't the only weather pattern that you'll actually experience. So for the sake of me not dying i'm gonna go ahead and put some frost walker boots on and i'm going to change the weather to a thunderstorm now in the nether whenever there's a thunderstorm you get what's called a heat blast and it's basically when the air around you gets super hot that you see a bunch of sparks in the sky and essentially if you don't have something to cool you down like frost walker boots you will be taking damage as time goes on while you're exploring in the nether so this mod gives some really cool atmosphere to the nether and also give some enchantments that you might not use all that much some added usability which i think is super cool but we haven't even talked about all of the weather options yet because if we go into a different biome you get a really cool looking storm pattern which essentially is just these really hard gusts of wind that will end up slowing you down and if you want to get rid of the slowness effect you can choose to wear leather armor this is kind of the one part of the mod where it's like eh I'm not really gonna use that I'm really cool with using fire protection and frost walker but I'm not really gonna use leather armor in the nether especially when the only debuff I'm getting is a slowness effect but this mod is really really sick especially if you combine it with the amplified nether mod because it just gives the nether a whole new atmosphere that you might have not experienced otherwise all right so next up for today's video we have what is probably my favorite mod combination i've ever put together in a very long time now this combination comes to us via music notification and infinite music 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the option. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm sure I'm going to get comments about the panorama in the background. That comes from the vintage panorama uh, resource pack that I have installed. I just I don't like when Minecraft changes the panorama with every update. I just like it to stay the same. And I really like this picture. Um, anyways, what I'm going to do is go to options and music. And then I'm going to go to music right here. Turn it on. And if you look in the top right, you'll see that we have Eld Unknown, Lana Rain, the Tricky Trials update. And so what this is going to do is with music notification, it's going to tell us anytime there is new music in the top right corner. And with the infinite music mod, it is going to loop music forever. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into a world really quick because I'm kind of losing my mind. There we go. Much better now that I can do the, the YouTuber camera thing. I just I couldn't just stand and look at a menu. Um. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is fantastic. Now, I don't know about you guys, I'm gonna get a little personal, but before I started making YouTube videos, I had taken a multi-year break from Minecraft, and I'm not familiar with tons of the new songs that are in this game. So with music notification, it'll pop up in the top right corner. It will tell me the person that made it, the album it's from, what the name of the song is. And then with infinite music, this kind of replicates the old legacy versions of Minecraft. If you guys ever played the console editions, you'll know that music seemed to play a lot more often in those editions. And for me, this is my personal creative world that I just throw a bunch of stuff around all the time and, you know, do for like, uh, get, get some builds ready for my hardcore world and stuff like that. Um, I, I like to listen to the Minecraft music while I do this. This is very relaxing and it really gets me in a creative headspace. So the infinite music is really good. Um, with these mods, of course, I can't remember if it's mu music notification or infinite music. I think it's music notification that gives you a hot key for this, but it shows you all of the music in the game. And it also shows you the history of the tracks that you have already listened to. Now, let's say I'm not rocking with Featherfall, okay? Which, by the way, I am. This music track is awesome. What I can do is I can click stop playing the current music and then back out. And then you'll see Dry Hands by C418 immediately started playing. Infinite music, music notifications, such a good combo, especially if you like playing creative mode a lot like me and just building random stuff. It's just, I don't know, it just keeps the creative juices flowing and I love this combination so much. Now, moving on over to the hardcore world, we have the next mod combination, and uh, this is mainly going to pertain towards your uh, UI side of things, towards your menus and inventory management and all that kind of stuff. Now, this combination is called Immersive UI, as well as Legendary Tooltips. Now, let's go ahead and go over Legendary Tooltips first. If I go ahead and take a look at this chess piece, you'll notice that it's pretty loud, it's pretty out there, and it's basically telling you, hey, this item is important. It works for basically anything that is enchanted. You'll notice that whenever we highlight the Totem of Undying, the tooltip is very, you know, gold and out there and basically saying, hey, this is important, as well as for our tools and everything like that. If we go in here, it'll also say the same for books and everything in between, especially the enchanted golden apple. Now, you might also notice that as I'm highlighting these various items, you'll see that they kind of bounce up a little bit. Now, this is from Immersive UI. Now, a really cool thing with Immersive UI is that if we go ahead and take the Enchanted Golden Apple, well, this is an enchanted item, so it has a nice little sparkle behind it as we move it around. And you'll also notice that it kind of jiggles around as well. It's not quite as harsh uh, or as solid, you know, whenever you grab it. It has a little bit of physics to it. Uh, but of course, this effect is going to work with pretty much anything enchanted, as you can see, with my pickaxe. Uh, a really cool thing with Immersive UI is that it actually can help whenever it comes to your storage. So let's say that I am building um, a building, right? I mean, <laughs> let's say I'm building a building out of calcite. Well, if I open this chest and I don't notice if I have calcite right off the rip, I can go ahead and grab some of the leftover that I have in my inventory. And you'll actually notice that all of the calcite inside of this chest starts bobbing around, basically saying, hey, I also match the item that you're holding onto, and this will work with anything. We have the totem of a dying here, and all of the totems in our inventory just start dancing around. So I really like immersive UI. I think legendary tooltips is really cool as well, especially if you're running some kind of mods or data pack where you have a bunch of different loot that you can discover and a bunch of new structures this will definitely come in handy but immersive ui in general is actually just really cool and i, I like it by itself to be honest 
Up next for the video, we have a mod combination that I feel like I'm going to be using for years to come. We have Show Me Your Skin as well as the Detailed Armor Bar. Now, if you guys don't know, Show Me Your Skin is basically a mod where if you equip armor, you can then choose whether or not that armor is visible. So if I go ahead and put on this chest piece and then go here, you can see that, yes, I have the chest piece on, but with this mod, I can choose to not show it if I want to see what my skin looks like. Well, with the detailed armor bar, you might actually notice that if you look at my UI, you'll notice that there are four armor icons that are colored like netherite. If I throw on a golden helmet, let's say a diamond legging and some iron boots, you'll notice that we have all sorts of different colors on our armor bar to show us what kind of armor we have equipped. And this is fantastic as a combination with show me your skin, because if you are somebody that wants to see what your skin looks like at all times, but you also want to know if your armor is on, uh, you know, while you're in first person, so you don't have to go into your inventory, you can see that. This is especially useful if you are adventuring in the nether, let's say, and you always want to have at least one gold armor piece on. You'll always know if you have it on because of the detailed armor bar, and you'll also notice that I have the netherite on down there as well. And this mod also showcases when stuff is enchanted. It'll have like a little glint down there as well if you do end up going that route. Uh, but in general, I just think it looks really nice. It adds a little bit of color to your UI that it might not otherwise have. And if you are using Show Me Your Skin and and you don't want to have armor visible on your character, this is a great combination to always know that you have the right armor equipped. Ah, what a beautiful night to just be chilling by the campfire. And speaking of night, that actually brings me to our next mod combination. If you are somebody that's been looking for a vanilla plus way to implement more mob variation into your worlds, well, then you might like this combination. This combination is made up of husk spawn, stray spawn, as well as bog spawn. And as you might imagine, as you know, given their names, what this will do is it will make it to where anytime a skeleton spawns, it has the chance of spawning as a bogged or a stray. And anytime a zombie spawns, it has the chance to spawn in as a husk. And this basically eliminates the fact that you have to be in a very specific biome to find this specific mob. It also means that you don't have to be at a trial chamber to find the specific mob as well, and just gives a little bit of variance throughout your Minecraft world. As we can see, a stray just spawned over there, and a husk spawned over there. And I'm sure somewhere deep in the depths of this plains biome that I can't currently find... Oh. Well, there you go. There's a box. <laughs> um, yeah, so I really like this mod a lot because statistically, right, if you are a Minecraft player, you begin your world and you decide to settle down in a biome, the chances of you spending the majority of your time in that biome are pretty damn high and chances are you're not really going to be able to experience many of these minecraft mob variants because well if you settle in a plains good luck seeing the bogged often and good luck seeing the stray often or if you settle in a desert yeah you'll see husks all the time but you're not really gonna see anything else you know what i mean and i think that this is a really cool vanilla way to add a little bit of variation throughout the minecraft mobs as it just allows them to spawn anywhere in place of their original Moving on over to our next mod combination, we have No Feather Trample as well as Jump Over Fences. So these are pretty self-explanatory, but it's going to make the early game of farming, or if you're someone that doesn't like to automate everything, it's just going to make farming in general a lot more fun and enjoyable. Uh, jump Over Fences. This is going to be pretty nice if you are dealing with, uh, you know, an, a giant animal pen or something. You don't want to have to have fence gates. You don't want to have to have a bunch of carpet around the outside of it. Um, and you combine this with no feather trample. So we jump over the fence and then we drop onto our crops. You'll see that they get destroyed. Well, if we use, let me go ahead and pull this up really quick. We'll grab some boots. We'll grab feather falling and we will grab an anvil. And as you might imagine, whenever we combine this and we go ahead and throw it on, 
any time that we are wearing feather falling, we can sprint over our crops, we can jump over our crops, and honestly, it just makes a ton of sense that an enchantment like feather falling would allow you to be able to do this. It, you know, it basically makes it to where you're super swift on your feet, you're practically wearing pillows, and I feel like being able to trample crops with this enchantment is just, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's called feather falling. You should be as light as a feather. You shouldn't be able to break this stuff. So yeah, you combine it with being able to jump over your fences, you jump over your fence and land on your crops. No problem as long as you have feather falling, which I think is super cool. All right, so moving on over to our next mod combination, you might notice via the hot bar and what I'm currently doing, we got some animal mods to talk about. And these are gonna be called animal armor trims as well as horse buffs. So let's go and throw a little saddle on this horse now that we have him tamed. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and talk about animal armor trims first. So let me go ahead and fly all the way over here to a smithing table. And you'll notice that I can take this golden horse armor, I can take this silence trim, and I'll just throw in a netherite ingot. And now we have a silence armor trim on that armor. We can do the same thing here. Maybe we'll use some gold so we can, you know, take a look at what those look like. And this also works with wolf armor. So we'll go ahead and do that, except with diamonds this time. So let's go ahead and take a look at what all of these look like. So walking up to our horse, we can go ahead and throw some of this diamond armor on him and look how how good that looks. I mean, you get some diamond armor with some gold trims on it and you will be matching your horse so well. It just looks super good. We're gonna go and take that off though on this right here. Oh yeah, we got some of that gold, some of that netherite going. Let's go ahead and spawn ourselves a wolf really quick, grab some bones. There we go. He's our little buddy. Throw on some wolf armor. Oh yeah, we, we got some of that some of that leather and diamond action looking super cool. And so those are the animal armor trims. Now the important mod here, because the wolves are just kind of a side, you know, little side addition. The main thing I want to talk about is the horse buffs. Now you might have noticed that once I tamed this horse, saddled him up, and just left him here, he hasn't moved. That is part of the horse buffs mod because horses, if you have tamed them, will no longer just wander aimlessly as soon as you get off of them, basically leading to the fact that you don't even know where your horse is unless you're constantly babysitting him. That is one of many things. The next thing that the horse buffs does is it's got, I mean, you guys, you guys know where I'm going with this. It's got to be one of my favorites. I mean, look at this. We don't get kicked off of the horse. Okay, I just pressed shift. We don't, <laughs> we don't get kicked off of the horse immediately whenever we get on it inside of water. Instead, it'll actually start to float and it'll start to swim while we are on top of the horse. And there are a ton of other horse buffs that come with this mod, but honestly, those are two of my favorites. Allowing you to swim with a horse, allowing them to not wander off whenever you get off of them. And there is just so much other stuff that you can see on the front page for this mod. But as someone like myself that doesn't really, you know, enjoy the elytra as much in minecraft and i prefer taking things slow this just makes horses so much better as a mode of transportation and much less frustrating and with the animal armor trims i mean you can make them look really good as well also one thing i didn't mention is that with this mod you also can have a hotkey to access your inventory so instead of just pressing the inventory button and just getting your horse's inventory you can actually for me i hold alt and then press my inventory button and then i'm able to access my own inventory while on top of the horse, which is super cool. Up next for the video, we have a mod combination for a lot of you in-game players out there, no pun intended, because this has to do with the end and with the elytra. So we have customizable elytra as well as do a barrel roll. So this, of course, is going to make your elytra experience just a little bit better. With customizable elytra, you are able to put an elytra in the crafting grid and you're able to split it off into wings and you can individually customize these wings if you want to and then combine them back into an elytra if you would like to me personally i'm just going to skip that just so i can show you guys what this is all about uh so customizable elytra this is going to give the dying functionality uh to elytra is very similar to leather armor it's also going to give the armor trim functionality to elytras as well so now we have ourselves a customized elytra i did not equip it there we go and as you can see it has this really sick design with the red dye as well as the gold silence trim now you can also put banners on this as well so 
if you custom make a banner, you can actually apply the banner to your elytra to kind of make it kind of like a cape skin, uh, which is really cool. But so this is going to allow you to basically make your elytra yours and yours alone. It's not going to look just like everyone else's or, you know, if you have a common cape or whatever, you can make it look however you want. And of course, I'm sure many of you guys know exactly what this next mod is, but do a barrel roll basically makes using the elytra a lot more fun and a little bit more realistic, allowing you to fly around your world in a completely new way that you probably have never flown around it before. Throw a little bit of third person on here and you can see just how good your elytra wings look. And yeah, both of these mods are really cool to enhance the, I'm gonna die. Both of these <laughs> elytra mods are really cool to enhance the elytra experience, giving you a customized one that you and you alone have to make look exactly how you want. And with do a barrel roll, it just makes using said elytra that much more fun. Hello, sir or madam. Are you tired of all the sword propaganda going on in Minecraft where the sword has to be the best weapon that you could possibly use? Well, no more, because with this mod combination known as Expanded Axe Enchanting, as well as Expanded Trident Enchanting, this allows you, if your favorite weapon happens to be the axe or the trident, this allows you to get a little bit more out of these weapons in Minecraft, allowing you to equip them with the likes of Fire Aspect, with Looting, with Knockback, if you would like to. No longer will you only have to use a sword if you want these enchantments, you can use this mod combination to make your favorite weapons just a little bit better. Now, does this have to do with making the balancing in Minecraft just a little bit worse? I don't know, maybe, but <laughs> if you like the axe and if you like the trident, who says you shouldn't be able to put looting on? I mean, honestly, looting, it doesn't really seem like that big of a deal to put looting on here. I mean, even fire aspect is what well, I don't know. You, you guys can argue about it in the comments. I let me do that. Um, I think it's cool. I think these mods are cool. And uh, if you are a big fan of the Axe or the Trident, then maybe you should install them so that you're not only having to use a sword for the rest of your life if you would like a little bit of extra loot or to set things on fire. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end as we have our final mod combination for the video. It has to do with farming. Uh, just a little bit, you know, just, just a little bit more farming. Um, this mod combination is called right click harvest, as you might imagine, you know, you know what that does, as well as crops love rain. Again, this is going to make farming a little bit better here in Minecraft. Of course, right click harvest allows you to right click and harvest crops. Also, the crops are growing so quickly because I have a higher tick rate for the world right now. Uh, but you'll see that I'm using a hoe and I'm able to harvest in a radius and we're, you know, if this were in survival, it would automatically pull some of these seeds that I have and replant them so that I don't have to individually break and plant every single time. Just makes harvesting a lot better. Uh, you can configure this so you can make it where you have to have a hoe or you can make it where, um, you know, we can turn both of those off so we could do it by hand. So I could just right click on these by hand. Uh, me personally, though, I think the hoe and the radius makes the most sense. It also, you know, gives a little bit more use to the hoe and makes it a little bit faster to do this as well and of course with crops love rain that's going to make crops grow a little bit faster whenever it rains outside um i don't really know how to convey this like the the best way possible to convey this but if you look it kind of looks like maybe they're growing faster um but i'm pretty sure this is configurable as well but this just makes sense i feel like crops love rain should definitely already be in the vanilla game um i just feel like you know whenever it's raining outside having your crops grow a little bit faster would be a nice little game mechanic but ladies and gentlemen that is going to do it for today's video those are 10 vanilla plus mod combinations for minecraft 1.21 if you guys would like to install these to your games i will have a link in the description to a collection of every single one of them uh so that you can and scroll through and pick out the ones that you like but guys thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy the content today i just ask that you subscribe and uh yeah go support the mod authors by installing their mods anyways guys thanks for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you guys next time